Hi, this is Edward Hazel. The purpose of this video is to provide the graphical proof that the Hobby King support team is asking for me to back up the claim I submitted through request ticket number 840519. This ticket was opened on November 1st, 2013. In my comments and responses through the past three weeks to the support team, I have stated that on June 20, I ordered two of these motors. Now this order was placed and sh shipped to me before H Hobby King announced that the motors purchased before June 26 were considered defective. Here are the two motors that I received. Okay, this is one of the motors. Okay, and here's the the bar on it. And the other one, here's the the identification on the on the outside of the boxes. Okay. Now, only one of the boxes that I receive has been opened. Okay? This one. Okay. The second one still remains sealed as it was received. However, I will proceed to open it and remove the motor for video inspection. The first motor. Okay. The accessories. And here's the first motor. Okay, this is the first motor. Okay, as you can see, never been used because once I received the, I saw the uh, the announcement, I proceeded to leave it in the box and wait for Hobby King to replace it because that's what the statement said. Anyways, this is motor number one. Okay. All right, I'll put this here and then I'll proceed to open the second box again and then define it. Okay, let me cut through. Here is the second one, still in the bag, sealed, as it has received. Still in a wrapper, and here is the second motor. Okay, I'm covering as much of the angles so you can identify and confirm that this indeed is the EF1 of the earlier version which I will definitely not use in any of my airplanes and I hope that uh, Hobby King will respond and replace this one. So here we are, got two of the motors, same, same type, same revision I guess so how do you call it, or version. And here there are two of them. 
Again, my claim is based on the announcement that Hobby King would replace the defective motors with motors that have been corrected for the faulty wiring in them. I hope this video provides the proof that has been requested from me. Thank you, and I expect to hear from you.